All right, guys. In this video, I had some confusion. I thought we were being dispatched for yet again another Williamson GWA series hydronic boiler that wasn't heating the house properly, but I was wrong. I was wrong. We actually have a Bryant gas-fired furnace that's not heating the house. The house is 61 degrees, and the old man is shivering in his skivvies. Shivering in his skivvies. But have no fear. St. Mike is here, and we're going to restore him heat. I'm going to show you step-by-step step on how we troubleshoot a bad inducer motor assembly. Let's get going. Hi. How are you, sir? I'm pretty good. I'm Mike, and Peter's behind me. What? Okay. And I have another guy coming for learning purposes, if you um, want. This is the thermostat? Yeah. And it's, set for, it's reading 62, and it's set for 72. Okay. Lead the way, sir. Thank you. You got a Williamson boiler, they say? Uh, no, uh, I think it's a Friday. Oh, your furnace. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, here. Uh, it's pointed in a way that it complicates everyone's work. <laughs> All right. All right. How long have you lived here? How long have I lived here? Ooh, 20 something years. 20 When's the last, how old is the furnace? You remember? Uh, you come with the house? Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Any recent service or maintenance? Uh, uh, about five years ago. What happened? There was a little device in there that, that um broke out. Okay. And they changed it. Okay. And it, Work it since then. It was acting pretty much the same. Huh? Take that. Off. Thank you. Now you can get up Take that off. Our filter looks like it's brand new. Okay. I don't hear anything. Get the non contact tester. Oh, no. We have blower on after, after power applied. So look for a 1 and 2 error code or a 2 and 1 error code on the back of the door. What do you see there? Let's see what we have here. Give me the switcheroo. Okay. The switcheroo. That's the switcheroo. Hopefully it stays. Stay there. Good. Power's off. And the red wire is the R is off the terminal. So now, if we connect R, we will have a call for heat. Oh. Now that is a call. It should be a call. Non-contact tester? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we're getting power to the inducer. We are, the inducer motor shot. All right, so let's get the voltmeter. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're gonna test for a 110 volts between these two terminals. <clears throat> is that on voltage? Yep. Okay. Touching them together is not going to do anything. You can't. That's, on, that's voltage there. You don't don't be stupid. What do you got? 120. Okay. Dead do some motor assembly. Hey, do you think we left him with no heat? What do you think? What do you think, Gigi? Did we, hey. What are you, ignoring me? 
Hey, what do you think? You think we left him with no heat? Of course not. Of course not. Peter Pan and Daniel went to Johnstone with the incomplete inducer motor assembly. Got it from our buddy Mark. God, God, by the way, God bless Mark from Johnstone in New High Park. Today is his last official day. Mark, have fun in your retirement. It's been a blast knowing you all these years. And thank you for always delivering products that I need. Responding to my emails. Really appreciate it, Mark. Mark, you're definitely going to be missed in the HVAC community. But we got the new inducer motor assembly installed. And Houston, we have ignition.